Pichu is starting Pichu. Huh? Which I, I can see because the way that Steelix dismantled Infernape mm -hmm. during their and, set. And also Rex earlier on. And I know Vex does have a history with this character. I've seen him play it before, but Falco does so good when you just kind of have a big circular hitbox by like Pichu doing incidental damage. Falco loves that because it just means a player who has is as consistent nice at finding angle. kill options That's and so as good. as Steelix just gets even more opportunities to look for them. But I mean, the pressure is just Vex is doing a good job keeping the pressure on so far. We also go, oh, it's Saturday. We got KK out as well. You never get to see KK in house. Uh, yeah. Maybe we do. I don't know. Sat I mean, Saturday, 8 p.m., right? He's here for another he's, 30 he's minutes. He's good for vibes. Yeah, he's put, it on, for vibes. put it on the best concert. And I want to say this is the first time, the only time you'll ever see KK during a grand final set at Xeno. That's pretty unique as well. And Steelix also repping the Tilde color. You know, not, not the typical Green Falco you'll see in grands, but you're seeing him here now. Yeah, got to bring it home for the boys, right? That The biggest difficulty for Rex is going to be the adaptation. Luckily, mm -hmm. he has a full set to do it, a full best of five to do it. Mm -hmm. it. The fact is, he was playing Diddy this entire bracket so far, and I don't know if he went this... I think he probably tried Diddy against Steelix earlier in Winners because this was the only player to beat Rex in this entire mm -hmm. bracket. Uh, so maybe this is just, okay, I saw how the first set went. Let me see if I can try something with this next one. Problem is, when you're switching a character after playing so hot on another one for so long, it can be jarring. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that early on, right? We're not really seeing Rex able to find any of the combos that you would really expect being able to. And so a lot of these kind of corner situations he's getting with Pichu, which are few and far between to begin with, are kind of incidental. He's not putting himself in a great position to capitalize. And a character like Pichu, just with how early you die anyways, you have to be able to find these edge guards. You have to capitalize on these moments. You have a character like Falco off stage, and so far Rex just hasn't been able to find it. Yeah, I agree. He likes the hunting for blood right now. I mean, this has just been such a clinic so far. And each whiffed electric move that Rex does is just more damage on an already light character that Falco has no trouble killing. So hot three stock out for Steelix. Yeah. I could totally see a quick 30 here. I, I, I kind of um, want to see Rex switch back to Diddy and see if he I, can make it happen. I, I think after the way that game just went, yeah. You, uh, you don't. Th th I don't think there's any way you stay Pichu here. I will say. It's better to be comfortable ain't. than uncomfortable. I walked into the, and All Lucina right. coming out. We're digging into the pockets. Yeah, we're just, we're, you got to try something, right? We're digging around. You got to try something. We're trying to find something. Aang, and I still it's just so comfortable against Diddy Kong. Again, right, PR'd in Smash 4. Exactly. In Connecticut, a region where Nelvin has been around forever. A beast. One of the best Diddy Kongs out there who just doesn't travel. And so he's very comfortable with this matchup and has had that experience for almost a decade now, right? Smash 4 came out nine years ago, oh, yeah. which is crazy to think about. But Oh my god, that was almost so scary. Felix is, mm -hmm. is a crackhead. He's not afraid to go for those deep, deep, deep edge guards as well. With no, not character. at all. And that being said, I do actually like this pick from Rex, right? Yeah, you just yeah, yeah. are able to play a a right outside that burst range that Falco wants to. You, you have the range to contest Nair, contest up tilt. You're still a little bit scared of those lasers, but they can't get too much started. So you, it's really how can you force Steelix to Ooh. not want to look for the illusions, look for the lasers that he uses to burst in from range. And I mean, just hopping over them, good place to start with that. Real and also Rex is just a player with very solid fundamentals mm -hmm. as well. So if you if you play if you play any character in this game oh, and you have no. good fundies, you can probably play Lucina. Sure, mm -hmm. her kit is not super intricate to understand. There's mm -hmm. obviously a couple character specialist quirks here and there, mm -hmm. but for the most part, this character rewards all the all the fundamentals that you need to be good at to yeah. be good at Smash. Unfortunately, unless you play Steve, then I was gonna say throw it out the Steelix or Snake. <laughs> I'll say it. I'm a Snake man. You need fundies of Snake too. Yeah, but not yeah. in the same way. They don't transfer. There's a reason AK secondary is Steve. Hold on. Thomas is jump. That's the stock. Yeah. yeah, good, soft, weak little noodle dare right Hold there. Hold on, is Steelix? There's, Steelix has a real chance. Okay, I, okay, I, okay. I was thinking it. I, was gonna I wasn't going to say it. No, I got to. I got to say it because we got to give. Happened. We got to give Rex a chance. I already told Steelix. I will be fully acknowledge. Um, I walked into the venue. Oh I looked my at, Are God. you kidding me? Hey, I walked in the venue. I looked at bracket. I told Steelix. I'm pretty sure you're winning this whole event. And he's yeah. like, I hope so. And now he's here. Lost one stock so far through the first two games of Grands. Rex needs to find that clutch factor that's been so prevalent for him throughout this bracket. It's been mysteriously absent. Celix just kind of sucked it all away. It's true. And, man, what right. are you going to find? It's just tough because now, like, 
we're not only digging into secondaries at this point, we're digging into tertiaries. And yeah. when we get that deep... They call them pockets for a reason. You will be noticeably weaker. <laughs> and when you're fighting someone at full strength from winners, playing their main, it's not going to be as good. But this oh. is already going much better than the Pichu game. A yeah. few solid edge guards. Mm -hmm. Like, the one benefit coming out of this for Rex is that mm -hmm. the edge guarding is so simple, you mm -hmm. can't mess it up. That being said, it was... He took that... That second stock, only taking 20% the entire time. It was gorgeous. That being said, he immediately went for a Dancing Blade to stall his recovery, but got the second hit coming out. Putting yeah. in so much end lag, you often see that single hit come out, right? That when he got the continuation, Steelix re was able to react and just found that juggle all the way into death. And like, you know, if, if you screw up, it just, there's nowhere to go. Will we see the Diddy Kong? I, I think, I think, honestly, I think, we will. I think you either try Diddy Kong here or you stay Lucina. You have to. It's do or die. The, the Cinderella run is think, about to end. I honestly think Lucina was really good. It was but good. now that you've given them a couple games, um, right, off from that Diddy Kong kind of thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, cool maybe, down. Yeah, maybe you try and, maybe you try and pull it out when, when your back's against the wall. You've got Desperation on the line. But also, maybe Steelix isn't quite as ready for it as he was going into the set. I well, think, never I mind. Think, I think he's pretty ready. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I think he's pretty ready. I, I, yeah, no, I take it all back. I take it all back. That's I'm sorry, the, Rex. The, the, the fact that Steelix's advantage is just so, so solid. Mm -hmm. We saw this man dismantle Infernape. Yeah, but it's not even what's crazy about his advantage state, too, is it's not even like it. he's not getting, like, you know, the 80, 100% right. combos that you see Falco's <laughs> get. He's getting these, like, two, three pieces. Look at prioritizing. the smirk. Look at the smirk on yeah. his face. He's like, all right, I got this shit. Yeah, prioritizing. <laughs> I got this shit in the bag. <laughs> like, he's, he's just, like, finding all these situations where he's prioritizing stage control off these two, three piece combos finding a read and doing it all again. Like, just playing a very fundies-based Falco, which is very different than what you see really yeah, right. your Larry Lurs do, your Tildes do, where they're going to put you in a blender for 70-80%. We just haven't seen Silic go for that. Uh, I think Rex is lost. Bro. Rex's yeah. face... Re Rex is now starting Yo, to start I was to show say, the We talked about how he was smiling the whole bracket. Okay, he's not no, smiling he's dead. right he now. He actually loses now. Yeah, oh, he's... GG, that's it. That's great. All right. Uh, wow. Let me check my watch. That's, uh, a, that's 840. Right, we have. Have you ever has, has any Zeno bracket in the history of Zeno ended before 9 p.m.? I think this is a new record setting here. But congratulations uh, to wow. Steelix, our Zeno <laughs> wow. quarter two yes. Arcadian champion. Yeah, Zeno spring Arcadian. If there's anyone that was going to win this bracket, I think it was going to be Steelix. Yeah, but I've got to say, for golf, golf claps say, and rounds of applause it was for Rex's run. Rex's like. Can we can we go back to the bracket real yeah, quick? Let's I, take a look. I just want to see he beat, Rex's run. Rex, he beat. Yeah. He beat. He lost to Steelix. He beat Felix to make it out of round out of pools. Yeah, out of pools yeah. again. Smaller bracket, so only that one loser side match. Still yeah. pretty nice. And then, which is crazy to me that Rex and Steelix, Steelix on winner's side to make it out winner's side had to play three matches. Steelix to make it out loser side had to play two. <laughs> Which is crazy. Then in losers, Rex beat Johnny Boy into Booty. Booty's Booty. a great win. That's into a good win. Cruz, which that set was started really close. Like like Cruz was Cruz. Unfortunately, I believe got un eliminated by Double Diddy Kong, which is I've just never unfortunate. Heard that before, but there it is. Oh, there um, it is. If it actually shows oh, up, I'm so yeah. sad. I got nine. It's not going to summon anything. Never oh, mind. Boys, and then, I hate you. And then beat I? Bars. Which again, fantastic win. Mars is a good win. Yeah, yeah right. I agree. Mostly Palo not, and not then <laughs> beat June as well, who's very good the, win as well. Who, yep, who was playing out of their mind today as in well. Infernape as Infernape well. Infernape and the who makes top oh. eights at Zenos frequently. Beat, and then uh, Mouse Silver, who had a great run. Yeah, for winners, great obviously. run. Very fundies based play style, and just was like really playing like it was very much Mao. I also just want to talk about for a second. Mao is so good at just yeah, playing the player. Out of nowhere too. Mm -hmm. I've just, never heard of that player. Before. I'm gonna just whiff punish you, and then I'm gonna whiff punish Bang you, and funnies. I'm just gonna whiff punish you. And it doesn't matter that my AGS playstyle is a little bit more simplistic because you're never gonna get the opportunities to counter me because you're just gonna get called out over and over and over. Any single thing you do that's not perfect is the worst choice you could make. Oh, and yeah, for sure. they took that run all the way to third place. Yeah, so. but uh, Steelix is so dominant. Which, I'm gonna be honest. Well. If you're not gonna win the Arcadian, I think third is like the optimal. Third place is the there. optimal place because, because you're you gonna come to back. the next one. Yeah, exactly. And then Rex you get a farm. Is suboptimal. You just get a farm. <laughs> Rex now can't enter another one, which sucks. But yeah, especially with thirty, th only thirty-three people. Especially here for someone who doesn't like come out as often mm -hmm. either. I feel like uh, either way, is there any potential we can get interview with Steelix? What's I I agree. 
I agree. Can we? And who do you want to interview you? Well, <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. We th 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 there's another headset floating yeah, how around. How far does that headset reach? I just PA'd. Let's see how fast he comes in. The, the question is, he can just uh, say no. That's yeah, if he if he comes if he comes back. Okay, he's coming back. Uh, I feel like I would take all the opportunity to chill. As, as can a, as we, a, as are a, we uh, able to get the the headset on so we can both interview Steelix? Fight or to the is there? If you, if both you, you want fight it. to the death I, right now. If you want it, I don't want to deprive you of it because I think as far as this is for me, I feel like I'm still somehow here more than you've been able to be I recently. I also feel like there's only room for one pair of Doc Martens on this These stream are, setup. Oh, and unfortunately, okay. I do. Okay. I got the, uh, what are they called? Chelsea boots? I mean, I'm I'm also happy to, to trade off after, like, That's if you want to ask a couple want, questions. champion? Whoever gets up, please <laughs> warn me before you take your headset off. Okay, okay. I'll give it to uh, Rich was putting it in the works. Are you sure? Are you sure? You're wait, welcome wait, to wait. it if you want. I'm out. I'm good. Okay. You're okay. Just don't put it in your reel. Don't don't leave before the end of the interview because I wanna I wanna I wanna actually chat a little bit if that's okay. Bet. I have some questions about All the right, vlog. Guys, before the lovely handsome Steelix hops onto this. You guys enjoyed my commentary. Steelix nudges the television. Oh, also, <laughs> by the way, by the way, before uh, before you go, I just want to say also if you enjoy Steelix, uh, he'll probably talk about it in a minute. But uh, you should That's check out I his merch. You should check out his to merch. Chill, chill, like hell. But uh, speaking of shilling, uh, nobody I would have rather cast with tonight. Of I think Thank you've you so been much, a blast. For real. It was fun. It was a good time. You're yeah. really, really well knowledge about the game. I gotta say, I try. That's awesome. I try. You gotta be big brain because it's I all was, I, I was got. Getting knowledge check the whole night. I was like, damn. And uh, but uh, where can they find you, Fang? You guys want to find me? I'm in a lot of places. Honestly, I would really appreciate if you could check out my YouTube channel. Yeah, this man's uh, content actually go to. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna make a stream where I actually coach myself on the sets that I played today. But uh, you can find me on YouTube.com/slash/atfang. Uh, if you want to hear my musings and stuff, you can find all the other stuff I do on Twitter at fan9s. I'm a Smash coach, so if you're looking to get better at Smash, definitely tap in. I make content, so sub to my YouTube. I stream on Twitch, so follow my Twitch. But if you just want one thing to do, please check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash atfang. I really am trying to do content creation so I don't have to work a real job. And this man, <laughs> if you're wondering, this man also uh, was video intern, right, at Panda. Um, we got to work with some of the best people in the business with in, Bobby. In, in Bobby Wasabi. Shout out yeah, Bobby Jut, Jackie real. Peanuts. Bobby now also Alpha Rad's content manager. So if you like Alpha Rad's content and you're like, wow, this content's great, right? That's Bobby who used to work for Panda. And you know who else did and is also incredibly talented? Fangs. You should check out Fangs' content too because oh, he's also incredibly talented. So and I mean, honestly, that was the best content the Smash community's ever seen. I'm just gonna say it. Panda, so yeah, Peachy, I'm glad that other people are filling the boots, mm -hmm. which were a part of the Panda staff. Yeah. Um, but you're. Who knows what's gonna happen from here on out? You're just talented, man. That's all I'm saying. Again, I'll catch you in a few, but until then. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Tell me what I did wrong. Oh, I already. <laughs> whoops, I, I muted you. Whoops. Oh, okay. Well. Also, also, also. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry. If you are <laughs> wondering where my sweater is from, because I know 8 million people asked me where the sweater was from. Where is it from? It is from a website called Cool Shirts. You can find them on uh, just in your browser, just Damn, shirts. Damn, that's cool. really convenient. They have some really cool shit, so check they it have, out. They're cool shirts, and they sell cool, cool shirts. All right, guys. Okay. Bye. So we're going to get clear. the Steelix interview for just a moment. Um, coming on up. Uh, let's let's get this swap on over. And get on cooking here at Zeno. 845, almost 846 now. And I am joined by a man who was unsure if he could even enter, got the green light, yeah. and now has the answer that no, in fact, you can't enter ever yeah. again. Thank you for the sub, bro, I talked to I talked to Helper right after this, and Helper was like, I shouldn't let you do that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, honestly, small bracket. We It was a blast to see you. I'm glad. Look at me. I finally got a right prediction too. I walked in the venue. I'm like, I think, I think you got this today. And yeah. you're like, I hope so. I think that was a safe bet. Yeah, the, I was, it I was. was. Like, I don't know about people it, were cooking though. Infernape. That was that was who I was like. Yeah. And then that was bars that was my took other. Me out. Bars. Was, that was crazy. I was playing so shaky, and bars mm -hmm. was just not. And then he, bars is just one of. The, he's got like I, that tragic gene in him, where mm -hmm. like one tragic thing happens, it's done. Like but, doesn't matter. And the it rest happened of the in set. losers too. It literally. I said it's like U.S. deed. He won that game and then lost like four stocks in the rest of his games to SDs. You could just see in him, he's just thinking about how unfair mm -hmm. that was for the rest of it. And he's like, no, I should I should get like, things should work for me now because I got yeah. all the unfairness out but, of the uh, way. But I was going to say, how, how are you? 
congratulations. Thank you. How, how are you feeling right now? Uh, good. I, I wish there was a bigger turnout. Like, I... Mm -hmm. I do, know, too. I... But, uh, you know, Easter weekend, Passover weekend, Ramadan, MTF... Arcadian down in in, Phil in Pennsylvania. Uh, okay. All four yeah. of those things really definitely did not lend itself yeah, to a large no. turnout this week. Uh, that was yeah. I, I was hoping to see more like um, more of the mm. people from that top fifty list that yeah. Zamba made. Those those ish, like the Ishtars and the yeah Pecos the, the and Justin the, well, JPEGs and yeah. of the world. No, that makes total sense. Yeah. Um, to say uh, if I may, who. Favorite person? Did you have a favorite person you played in bra played against in bracket today, or otherwise kind of just like a favorite set or moment that you were just like, wow, like that really impressed me. I didn't see that coming. From someone else? Yeah. Um, or or from you? Like if you did if you if you can't think of anyone else and are like, wow, I really cooked here. I think I don't know. Infernape caught me off guard. I was uh, honestly like the person I was most impressed with. I didn't mm -hmm. even fight in bracket. There's a guy out there with the tag sticks papayas who's the yep. most fun player I've fought against ever. It was he we was just cooking. played spaces, uh, and he was he was like we were trading games, and I was like, how'd you lose to a falco that wasn't me in bracket today? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I you know part of me feels bad now for pushing Helbert, giving, applying. I was like a lawyer in the DMs to get Helbert to be like, okay, yeah. Well, all I'm going to say is, listen, now there's no question for the future. Yeah, right? yeah. Now there's no question as you continue to make that push for the New York PR, which... God forbid, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I, I didn't I didn't say you... I think you <laughs> definitely have the talent to. It's just... If I really You've got other life stuff it, going on. I could get like 15th, maybe. Yeah, but... but You've got other life stuff going on. You're I do. very successful, and I mean, do you want to talk about that at all? I'm also, yeah. Well, I'm like, oh, I'm in crunch time now because like I'm out of money from like <laughs> that last bat batch of sales, and like uh, I'm hunting down a full time design job now. Uh, but I'm not selling anything new. Yeah. Uh, Cooking milk. some stuff. Yeah, in yeah. Works in progress behind the scenes, but yeah, maybe I'm I'm just like taking a web dev course and like learning motion graphics. And oh, trying to yeah. shore myself up and be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna be the next like whatever the hell the new hundred thieves is. I'll be their branding guy. It'll be great. And I mean, you certainly got the resume to do so. Um, if any of you have seen, you know, unfortunately out of stuff, if you've seen like the, I think probably what I, I in in my head like the most popular thing that you've released that hasn't been like. Kony merch or some such. Oh yeah, if you like Kony's merch, that's him. But uh, hey. also, like you've done those Fountain of Dreams and yeah, and, that one. and uh, Dreamland hoodies that have been very successful. Those pastel but, boys, and then the uh, the all over mm -hmm. print. Um, yeah, like a uh, black and white. Yeah, the doing I was gonna say yeah stuff. with with the falcon the knee and the jiggle top yeah. back area. Yeah, that one. That one I see. I see those all three of those everywhere. And everywhere I go, I'm like, oh, you got Steel Oaks. That's because the like, northeast. Yep. Like I've been, I've been around the block in New England and in Tri-State. Yeah, but the thing now, is, man, so I've seen like, it. I, I, I saw one at Phoenix down in Michigan. Hell yeah! Oh, like you're, cool. you're getting out there. So I'm feeling good. I saw someone yeah. randomly in a, a, a grocery store mm -hmm. in NorCal wearing one. Like, not even when I was there for Genesis or anything. Oh yeah, it was just weird. Um, so. I was gonna say anything from. You know, I've asked if there was anyone else who really impressed you from the Arcadian. Um, for for you yourself, was there anything about your play that either you know is something that caught you off guard and oh, I really need to work on this? I kept getting called out for it. Oh, wow, I didn't think I was actually going to be as successful with this as I was. That really you want to, in either a positive or or kind of constructive criticism type of way, take a deeper look at um after 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 this bracket well i i was noticing i was mm -hmm. just you know it's an adjustment the xeno setups feel different especially mm -hmm. if i'm just like at home playing wi-fi on my goddamn like not gaming mm -hmm. tv with no LAN adapter then my fast fall timings and all that are gonna be weird so i was playing cold mm -hmm. as hell for the first like bad cold i was ve my hands were cold for the first like three sets and that's why like rex did so much better in winner's side against me I was having a problem because the game was too responsive. Yes, literally. I was literally I know dealing with too responsive no, of a hey, game. Hey, I, I literally had the same issue in bracket today. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. <laughs> so it's a very real thing. So I was, I, was, absolutely. I was literally on the training mode mm -hmm. set up in between and just like playing yeah. friendlies with whoever. I'm so, also, I wanted to fight Skeet. Mm -hmm. I was like, Skeet, I'm probably going to fight Skeet in Grand Finals or something. Skeet went down. That was crazy. Yeah, no, absolutely. A box causing a man. Terrifying. Yeah. But uh, I was going to say... Uh, just two two quick questions for you. I don't want to keep you too too long here. Huh. Or um, the first is, I know you as a Falco, very unique play style, right? You see a lot of, I guess the the, the household name Falcos, right? Your Tildes, your Larry Lurs, for example. Oh, 
this character is known for cutscene combos. Uh. You notably, we didn't see a lot of that from you in bracket tonight. Yeah, we I'm saw a lot of game is ass yeah, compared to other. We, we saw a lot of of just every combo though. You prioritize stage control and your illusion game, especially right. Your your mix ups, your reads, your call outs to find those continuations and advantage state were excellent. But that X factor really is how you utilize illusion. And what do you think? kind of pushes you towards that play style and what do you think really especially draws you to illusion specifically as, uh, as an option it's i love things that are just i love skipping resetting neutral and just mm -hmm. going straight to disadvantage so like illusion is kind of like i could just get back on stage mm -hmm. with an illusion like wall jump and then if they're not expecting it i get a free back like Fal falco has like five kill confirms from ledge which is it's, crazy dude, unacceptable behavior game, not okay yeah um so I, you know, and I also, I'm just really impatient, and the fact that I play a character with sh terrible run speed uh, yeah. means that getting horizontally, I'm just like definitely going to spam illusion because I'm like, I want to get there. I want to punish your landing. And it's, it's good, right? They buffed it too, but also an, I think an additional part is you're literally the only person who does it. Yeah. So like everyone's like, oh, Falco, yeah, they're not going to do this. And then you do it and they're like, oh, oh no. Yeah. It, it, it works a little less. There's a lot more narrative around it with like mm -hmm. when I'm fighting PR players for sure. Certainly. But, but yeah, I do get a bunch of those. And uh, I guess last question, um, either from bracket or outside of it, you know, outside of whatever we've talked a little bit about you in and out of at being a competitive player, anything else or anyone else you want to shout out um, before we let you go? Um, not really. I haven't been playing that much. I've been going to Brooklyn and getting, getting twisted and stuff. But uh, shout out to my Dr. Mario, who's I've only been using the only I doc love, and Robin I love that your I've been doc so much. Using him bracket for like I don't know. A month the doctor and a half, is months. in, and his name is Steelix. Yeah, sorry about Bikilis. Sorry Bikilis for the 2-0 with my doc. That was that that one burned me. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you. Uh. Would you money match numbers your winnings? No. <laughs> Good lord. He's no. right here. Just play him for your win. That is... <laughs> Double it up. The, the, the actual plot <laughs> armor of, hmm, do I want to risk giving numbers the winnings of a tournament he didn't even enter? Good that is the lord. ultimate New York arc <laughs> right there. But, uh, <laughs> man, I mean, making, like, Snake and escaping from New York for real with that money. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... This will supplement the, uh, the $200 in my bank account right now very well. Oh, I feel that, man. I feel that my sponsor just reimbursed me for like six hundred dollars yesterday, and it Hell was yeah. the only reason I could literally afford to get down here. <laughs> but so, uh, fo where can they where can they find you before we're gonna That's we're gonna my sign Twitter. Off, so. Follow me on Twitter. I'm funny. I'm cute, and uh, I he make, is, I his, make his Twitter's pretty funny. Uh, I make uh, the designs and the merchandise sometimes. I'm doing Buy it. Some cool it's projects. Cool. Uh, the doing Rubber Ross is potentially right now if mm. he says yes to the design. Hell yeah. Uh, we're hoping that. And I know there was the one you mentioned to me at Brooklyn as being in the works. I'm not going to say anything more about that, but uh, I'd love yeah, to hear how yeah. that's going. Yeah, yeah. After the event. So keep your eyes. Big things coming from Steelix yeah. here. I'll never tweet that because everyone tweets that. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm never going to do that, even when big things are coming. Absolutely. For me, it's been Ritual. You can find me on Twitter at RitualSSB or at Cast on the Block. I put out a podcast every week with GERD, the Waffle Man, and Syndicate Snivy. We talk about casting, we talk about Smash TOing, and just all sorts of other stuff that doesn't really normally get addressed on the normal kind of player-focused Smash podcast. We're actually going to have Flambo on as a guest for the episode we're recording tomorrow, where we're going to talk about what it's like recording a reel and what people look for and how to kind of sell yourself as a caster, right, trying to make it in the scene. If you're interested, definitely check us out there. And again, if you're just interested in me, uh, at Ritual SSB, DMs are always open if you have commentary, feedback, or anything like that. And folks, it's been a blast. Steelix, congratulations again. Thank you very much, Ritual. And have a good one. Peace out.